Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about one variance test. Measures of central tendency such as mean give us an idea about the location where most of the data is concentrated. However, two different data sets may have the same value for the means, but they may have different variations. In this case, the location measures such as mean may not be adequate enough to describe the distribution of the data. The variance, which measures how spread out the data are about their mean, is another property which characterizes the data and its distribution. For example, engineer compares the measurement data between two gauges. Although the average measurement data are about the same, which is around 0.83, the standard deviations are significantly different. The standard deviation for gauge 1 is about 0.02253. On average, the measurement data deviates from the mean by about 0.02253. The standard deviation for gauge 2 is 0.0739. On average, the measurement data deviates from the mean by about 0.0739. One variance test is hypothesis test of compare population variance or the standard deviation against target or reference value. For example, the doctor wants to know if the variance of blood pressure for patients is more than 2 mm Hg. Develop null and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis or H sub 0 is the statement that we are assuming to be true and we are trying to find evidence against it. Alternate hypothesis is the statement that we would eventually like to support or prove. For a one variance test, the hypotheses are as follows. In the null hypothesis, the population variance equals the hypothesized variance. In alternative hypothesis, there are three options, which are the population variance differs from the hypothesized variance, the population variance is greater than the hypothesized variance and the population variance is less than the hypothesized variance. For one variance test, use the chi-square method when your data are normally distributed. The method is inaccurate for non-normal data, even when the sample size is very large. Use Bonnet method for any continuous data, normal or non-normal. To ensure that your results are valid, consider the following guidelines when you collect data, perform the analysis, and interpret your results. Each observation should be independent from all other observations. The sample data should be selected randomly from the population. The sample data should not be severely skewed, and the sample size should be greater than 40. For example, an engineer will like to determine the capability of a gauge by measuring the thickness of the metal part. Does the measurement variance differ from 0.03 mm at 0.05 significance level? Check the normality of data. The null hypothesis is the population variance is equal to 0.03, while alternative hypothesis is population variance is differ from 0.03. The level of significance, alpha is 0.05 and sample size is 15. Next, you are required to perform a normality test to test whether the distribution is normally distributed. Since the p-value is greater than alpha, 0.05, we are 95% confidence that the distribution is normally distributed. Use chi-square method since your data is normally distributed. Next, I am going to show you the steps of performing a one variance test using Minitab software. Choose Stat, Basic Statistics, One Variance. In Hypothesized Variance, enter 0.03, click Options. Enter 95 under Confidence Level. Confidence Level is 1 minus Alpha and Multiplier 100. Under Alternative Hypothesis, select Variance not equal to Hypothesized Variance. The test statistic for one variance is shown as below. N is sample size, S squared is observed value of the sample variance, and variance sub-0 is hypothesized value of the population variance. The test statistic for chi-square is 0.01. The calculation method is shown on the right-hand side. To determine whether the difference between the population variance, 
or the population standard deviation and the hypothesized value is statistically significant, compare the p-value to the significance level. In this case, the p-value is 0, 0.000. The p-value is a probability that measures the evidence against the null hypothesis. The smaller the p-value, the stronger the evidence against the null hypothesis while a large p-value means little or no evidence against the null hypothesis. The decision to reject a null hypothesis or not depends on the level of significance alpha. If p-value less than alpha, reject null hypothesis. If p-value greater than alpha, fail to reject null hypothesis. The level of significance used is 0.05. If the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, the decision is to reject the null hypothesis. You can conclude that the difference between the population variance or standard deviation the hypothesized variance or standard deviation is statistically significant. We are 95% confidence that the population variance is differ from 0.03. Minitab displays two p-values. Usually, you should use the Bonnet method. Use the chi-square method only when you are certain that the data follow a normal distribution. Any small deviation from normality can greatly affect the chi-square results. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.